Good morning, everyone. We are here to present SUMA, a financial budgeting mobile application. I'm Renz N. Villanueva, the hustler. Rogeline Miranda as the designer. Mary Joy Santos as the hacker. Next slide. Are you looking for a reliable spending tracker and planner app? SUMA is a personal financial money manager specially designed for you. The application features custom budget planner, bill organizer, bill reminder, monitor your spending, money saver, monthly budget overview, organize budget offline, and connect GCash account. View and manage all of your finances anytime, anywhere, efficiently in one place. Next slide, please. Step one, define your goals. Next slide. Propose know-how. To create a mobile application for technopreneurship. Also, gumawa ng application na makakatulong para makasave ng pera ngayong pandemic. Next slide. To create a startup tool for budgeting. Para magkaroon si user ng financial stability at malaman ng kanyang spending habits. Next slide. Help people save money. Gumawa ng plano sa mga gastusin or future gastusin. It makes user have control kung saan sila gumagastos. Next slide po. Help people avoid extra charges due to penalty. Dito magagamit ni user yung bill reminder para ma-notify si user na hindi niya na magbayad at may iwasan yung extra charges due to penalty. Next slide. Help people to keep track of their money. Dito may kita ni user ang kanyang buwan ng sweldo, gastos, at mga savings. Isa rin sa features ni Suma App is makita ang finances ng mga nagdaang buwan para malaman kung siya ay overspending or underspending, especially ngayong pandemic. Next slide. Step 2, customer segment. So, si Suma is a need-based segment for customers' practical needs. The app is made for individuals who wants to casually manage their expenses and keep track of where all of their money is going. Perfect for the people, number one, who want to avoid using too much money, number two, want to save up, and number three, have trouble saving up. SUMA is a mobile application for assisting in budgeting and tracking their expenses. For the step three, which is research, next slide please. We research five applications that share similar features with SUMA. Number one is the One Money application. One Money Expense Tracker Money Manager Budget. This app will show you where your money is going. Keeping track of your finances frequently isn't the most pleasant thing in the world, and it requires specific skills and knowledge. This app will help you in tracking your expenses easily. Number two is the Vault application. Uh, with this simple and easy home budgeting tool, you will be able to see your current and future financial situation right on the calendar. Entering periodic expenses and income is enough to see your estimated balance forecast for any dates in the future. And dito po sa app na to, meron po siyang, uh, pwede niyo pong planuhin yung uh, future spending or payments mo para po malaman if you can afford it in by that specific date. Next slide po. Number three is the fast budget. Uh, dito naman po, uh, it offers many tools where you can manage your money, your money better. It offers also uh, no, various types of charts and calendars. Next. Monthly budget planner and daily expense tracker. With this application, you can also save money, track bills, finance, and income. And last is... The, the money manager expense and budget. With this application, you can easily record your personal and business financial transactions. Also, you can generate spending reports, review your daily, weekly, and monthly financial data, and also you can manage your assets with this application. So after showing the five similar applications with our app, this is uh, this slide shows the comparison of SUMA to the mobile applications mentioned above. First, for the similarities, all of them help in budgeting incomes. Next is it helps the users into tracking their expenses into categorized form. Number three, 
monitors the salary deduction of users. Number four, all of them offer simple user interface. And lastly, by the use of these apps, the user can easily budget their income in the future. About the uniqueness of Suma to the applications, our app has a pop-up notification that can help in notifying or reminding the user if the due date is near or needs to be settled within that day. Next, with this, the user will not receive penalties or unnecessary charges due to late payments. And lastly, uh, our application is interactive because you can now make online payments with the use of Gcash. Next slide. For the legal restrictions, we, the developers, ensures that our application will follow policies and, proced and procedures of Google's Play Store and AdMob to deliver safe applications to many users. For the privacy, uh, our application will collect personal information such as user salary and expenses, but rest assured that the, gathered, that the data gathered is confidential and will be utilized for the application's purposes only. For the copyrights, the developers of these applications will not use any images or any personal creative works that is created by some authors. Uh, gumawa po kami ng sarili naming logo, which is designated lang po siya para po dun sa application namin to avoid any copyright issues. Our plans for marketing and monetization. Uh, our application will be in the platform of the Google Play Store console to reach and engage a huge number of users using Android devices. Also, by the comments or reviews or suggestions, uh, makakatulong po yun para po mas ma-improve pa po namin yung application namin. Also, we will use Google AdMob to monetize our mobile application which may help developers into maintaining and updating the application. Also, the application offers premium accounts wherein it can help in, monetize, in monetizing the said application. <laughs> Um, every frames of our mobile application were built using mockups.com and the logo was created with the use of Photoshop. Uh, yung idea po na nag-made nag up sa aming, sa aming logo is inspired from the piggy bank and dollar coin, which produced the logo ng aming application. The logo also represents saving money and making budgeting, um, make, making budgeting money a habit. Meanwhile, the color scheme is inspired by the, by the dollar currency, which is mostly represented in color green. And that is our logo for the application. So step four po is yung aming wireframes na um, initially in-edit um, po namin and uh, ito po siya overall, but uh, i-explain po namin siya further sa aming uh, interactive uh, prototype. So step five, value proposition. Uh, to be able to create a native mobile application with a category of a lifestyle app and to help people manage their hard-earned money and to be able to overcome finances, especially in times like this pandemic. The goal of this application is to create a startup tool for budgeting to help people save money, to help people avoid extra charges due to penalty, and to keep track of their money. Why would your initial customer segment pay for the product or our service? So our Suma app is a user-friendly application that allows users to easily install the app on their smartphone devices. It is free to install, but users must purchase the premium version to gain full access to the app's feature. So um, kung matatanong nyo po, um, our app, um, uh, ang, ang kanyang uh, goal po is maka makatulong po sa ibang tao na makapag earn ng money. So, bakit po uh, i-encourage namin siya na kumuha ng premium version? So, um, katulad nga po ng sabi nilang lahat is time is good po. So, if you are saving time, um, you are actually saving money kasi nga po, um, you can use that uh, time to do more uh, fruitful things na makakapag-benefit uh, pa sa'yo. And also, dun nga po sa aming um, uh, feature na uh, meron po tayong alarm system na um, magpapaalala po sa ating user na um, uh, this specific bill is uh, malapit na po mag uh, due date kung saan uh, makakaiwas po ang ating user sa mga uh, unnecessary charges katulad po ng uh, late fee and penalties.
So, I mean, technology readiness level po is 9, which is uh, system test, launch, and operate, operation. So, budgeting apps, according to our findings, already exist and we are widely available on app stores for both Android and iOS. So, um, however, ang ginawa po namin is uh, nagdagdag po kami ng features like, uh, katulad nga po ng nasabi kanina is, um, meron po kami feature na magra-direct na po uh, sa GCash para po um, since uh, pinaalala na, na po ng app namin ng user na malapit na po uh, mag-due date ang certain bill. So, um, through the use din po ng app namin, just one click away, uh, magra-direct na po siya sa GCash para um, Habang nasa bahay ka, sa comfort of your home, is mababayaran mo na po yung uh, mga bills mo na po yun yun. So, ito na po yung aming interactive prototype. So, first po, meron po kami yung landing page. And then, sa first login po is, manghihingi po yung... Um, uh, app namin ng 4-digit PIN since uh, income po yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. So, medyo uh, kailangan po ng secure and um, nasa sa inyo na po yun kung isashare nyo po yung PIN nyo sa mga um, trusted people. And then, darang dito po tayo dito ng um, email. And then, enter lang po ulit ng security PIN. And then, pag po, uh, para po yung uh, forgot PIN po para uh, kaya po tayo nangingi ng email. And then, sa so first uh, login po natin is mangingi po kung kailan po ba uh, uh, tayo magkakaroon ng uh, income. And then, tatanungin din po kung uh, ano po yung income po natin. And then, ito po yung ating dashboard. And makakita niyo po dito yung ating income, yung mga bills, and then kung ano po yung mga um, bayarin po natin this month. And then, kapag kinilig niyo po itong income, makikita niyo po yung lahat ng mga naging income niyo po for the past month. So, makikita niyo po dito yung in time, may delay dahil meron din po tayong delayed income na dahil hindi man po tayo sure kung na um, exactly this month, lagi po tayo sumasweldo or meron po tayong income. So, dito po natin pwede i-confirm kung um, natanggap po ba natin yung ating income. And then, ito naman po yung ating mga bills. So, dito po, uh, makikita niyo po kung ano yung mga bayarin natin for this month. And also po, sa ating premier account, premium accounts, hindi lang po last month yung makikita nyo, kundi pati po yung um, ng mga nakaraang buwan pa po. So, yun po yung feature na dinagdag po namin sa aming uh, premium account. So, dito po, makikita nyo din po yung mga uh, budgets po natin. Um, pwede po kayo mag-set ng specific amount for food, katulad po niyan. or kanyari po for transportation, and etc. So, pwede naman din po mag-create po kayo, magdadagdag, and then mag-choose lang po ng category. And then, pwede rin, uh, since ang uh, one, feature, one goal nga po ng aming app is to help people save, so, dito po, makikitrack nyo din po kung, um, Magkano po yung ma ang nasi-save nyo every month? So, uh, malalaman nyo po kung gano'n na po kalaki yung ipod nyo. And then, ito po yung um, aming pag-change pin sa typing. And then, change email din po. And then, ito po yung aming uh, notification. So, like, for example, dito po, um, Kunyari po, select nyo po yung inyong um, uh, sweldo as every uh, quincenas po, 15th of the month. So, and select nyo rin po yung inyong uh, income as 20,000 per uh, 15th. So, dito po, tinatanong po na ating app kung uh, nakuha nyo po ba yung inyong um, 
income. So, pwede rin po siya. Kasi hindi nga po uh, sure kung uh, minsan po diba may mga overtime and etc. So, ang ginagawa po namin is uh, pwede po siyang i-edit. So, uh, pwede niyo pong i-type yung exact amount. Or um, may, may instances din po na hindi po tayo nakasaldo and etc. Pwede rin po siyang delayed. So, kaya po tayo merong delayed incomes kanina. And then, Ah, uh, ito po ah uh, pagka uh, finalize po siya lahat and tama naman po yung info so confirm lang po. And then ito po yung ating mga alarm. So for example, ah uh, 17 na po ngayon and um ngayon po yung due date ng ating electricity. So, ah uh, papaalahanan po tayo ng ating app na magbayad na po ng ating kuryente. So, pagka magbabayad na po tayo, so pwede po yan ah uh, Ito po yung feature na pagdare-direct na po siya sa Gcash. And then, um, and then after that, magiging paid na po siya. If, uh, click nyo lang po siya kapag ka, uh, nakabayag na po tayo. Or pwede rin naman po na-delayed uh, since may instance po talaga na hindi po tayo nakakabayag. And then, uh, also po, Ah, uh, pwede rin dito po tayo pwedeng magdagdag ng uh, other incomes. For example, ah uh, nag nagkaroon po tayo ng freelance job and etc. Pwede po natin siyang idagdag dito. So uh, for a specific uh, income lang po ito. And then, uh, for example, nagkaroon po tayo ng unexpected bill, ng unexpected gastos, like kunyari nagkaano ka sa Shopee. And then, kung kailan po yung Julie. So, ayun lang po yung aming um, app. 